Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on Pharmacological Classification of Drugs. In this video, I will explain anti-cancer hormonal drugs. Now, certain hormones will cause cancers. Like estrogen, excessive stimulation may result in breast cancer and endometrial cancer. Whereas, excessive stimulation of testosterone may result in prostate cancer. So, these cancers can be manipulated by certain drugs known as hormonal drugs. Class 1, glucocorticoids. Prednisone, prednisolone. Prednisone is a prodrug which is converted into prednisolone. Now, these drugs can be used to treat cancers related to hemopoietic systems like leukemia, lymphoma, myeloma. Now, the next class is estrogens or estrogen analogs. Example, ethinyl estradiol. Now, excessive stimulation of estrogen may result in breast cancer and endometrial cancer. But these hormones can be used to treat androgen related cancers like prostate cancer. What happens is when ethanol estradiol is given, it acts on pituitary gland and inhibits the release of luteinizing hormone. It is called as negative feedback inhibition. When luteinizing hormone is inhibited, androgen secretion is reduced and that controls prostate cancer. But nowadays due to their severe adverse effects, they are not used widely. Now the next class is, there is a special class known as SERM, Selective Estrogen Receptor Modifier. Example, tamoxifen, torimefen, raloxifen. Now, these drugs at the breast tissue, they act as antagonist of estrogen receptors. Whereas, at bones and endometrial tissue, they act as agonist of estrogen receptor. Hence, they are called as selective estrogen receptor modifier. So, these drugs can be used to treat breast cancer. Now, the next class is selective estrogen receptor down regulator. Example is full by strand. As the name indicates, these drugs down regulates estrogen receptors, hence it can be used to treat uh, uh, estrogen related breast cancer. Now the next one is aromatase inhibitors. See aromatase is an enzyme which is responsible for the production of estrogens in postmenopausal women. So when postmenopausal women has got breast cancer, these aromatase inhibitors can be used. Drugs in the case of aromatase inhibitors are Lestrazole, Letrazole, Anastrazole, Eximastin. Now, the next class is uh, anti-androgens. Anti-androgens like flutamide, nilutamide, bicalutamide. These drugs are related, are, can be used to treat androgen related cancers like prostate cancer. Now, there is an enzyme called as 5H reductase. Now, this 5H reductase enzyme job is it converts testosterone to dihydroxy testosterone. Dihydroxy testosterone has got two major functions. One, it is responsible for male pattern baldness. The baldness which you see in men called as alopecia is because of dihydrotestosterone. Now, the same dihydrotestosterone also causes prostate enlargement. So, this can be used to treat benign prostatic hyperplasia, prostate cancer and to treat male pattern baldness which is known as alopecia. Now, the drugs in this class 5H reductase inhibitors are uh, finasteride, and jutasteride, finasteride and jutasteride. Now, the next class is gonadotropic releasing hormone analogs. Now, drugs like leuproprolide, gosrelin, leuprorelin, uh, nafarelin. Now, these drugs, nafarelin, leuprorelin, gosrelin, treptorelin. Now, all these relin drugs, they are gonadotropic releasing hormone analogs. What they do is they act at anti anterior pituitary hormone place and they inhibit the release of follicle stimulating hormone as well as luteinizing hormone. So these drugs can be used to treat breast cancer, uterine cancer, endometrial cancer as well as prostate cancer. The next one is progesterone analogs like hydroxyprogesterone, metroxyprogesterone. Now these drugs can be used to treat endometrial cancer. So this is about hormone related uh, anti-cancer therapy. Thank you.